Hello everyone, welcome to this week's video announcements. Uh, I've got my little sidekick here helping me today. Um, and I want to let you know uh, first about um, an update on our staff transitions. Um, as I hope that you've heard by now, our sexton, Sandy, who's been with us for many years and has done just a beautiful job of keeping our facility looking great, um, is retiring at the end of this month. Um, and I hope that you will um, either or either bring a card or make a card at our June 13th Flower Communion in-person event uh, for Sandy to recognize all that she's given to the congregation. Um, and, uh, and that means that we are bringing on a new sexton, um, and we've hired someone. He'll be starting next week, um, next Monday, and working with Sandy a little bit before she leaves. Um, and his name is Mark Connolly. Um, uh, so Erica is going to send out a little fuller announcement, but I wanted to give you the, the sneak peek that uh, we do have a new sexton. Um, he has many years experience working on facilities for nonprofits, so um, I think he's going to fit right into the job, um, and uh, we're really excited to welcome him, uh, and I hope you'll join us in welcoming him. Uh, you'll get to, to meet him, hopefully, when we're back in the building. Um, we also have several things coming up, uh, including today. Tonight, uh, Jed's video production night has taken uh, kind of a new format. Um, there's going to be a little bit more of an emphasis on music making. So you can come and actually possibly record something that will be used in the service. Uh, so I hope uh, I hope you'll join Jed this Wednesday at 7.30. I'll put the link in the comments for that, the Zoom link. Um, and of course, today is Wednesday if you're watching this today. So um, I hope you'll join Jed tonight. Um, also tonight, uh, there is a rally in Greeley Park, uh, New Hampshire United Against Hate. And it's in response to some uh, racist and anti-Semitic um, uh, speech and acts that have been targeting um, folks in our state, leaders in our state, um, and particularly uh, elected folks in Nashua. Um, so uh, that's at Greeley Park at 6.30 tonight. I hope you'll come out um, and um, join me. I will be there um, to take a stand against hate in our state. This isn't who we want New Hampshire to be, and uh, we want to make that clear by showing up tonight. Uh, that's at Greeley Park tonight, June 2nd at 6.30 p.m. This weekend, uh, we're starting something new. We're doing um, an outdoor play group for uh, preschoolers and toddlers. Um, we're using that age range a little bit loosely, so, um, so if you have someone who's on the edge of that, you can feel free to join us. Uh, we're going to be um, coming together at 10 a.m. on several Saturdays throughout the summer, um, starting this Saturday, June 5th. Uh, just for play and connection. Um, we'll be in the front yard, uh, that fenced in yard that our preschool uses. Um, we'll be gathering there. Uh, and we are asking people to sign up because our COVID policy limits um, the gathering to 15 people. Uh, so I'll put the link to sign up for that in the comments. I would love to see you. Olympia and I would love to see you this Saturday uh, for some outdoor playtime. Um, this Sunday uh, is our bridging service where we honor our graduating seniors. Uh, that's at 10 a.m. at our normal time. Uh, we've got at least a couple seniors, uh, three different seniors who are going to be participating in that service. Um, I'm really excited for y'all to hear from them and uh, for us to celebrate them. Uh, they've had kind of a rough last year of high school, so I want to, um, you know, make sure that we are honoring them and honoring them as they move, uh, move into this next step of their journey, whatever that looks like for them. Uh, so join us at 10 a.m. on Sunday for our bridging service. And then at noon on Sunday is our annual meeting. So I, I do hope you'll come and um, hear about uh, the last year, hear reports about the last year, uh, vote on our budget, vote on our uh, various elected positions. Um, join us to do the work of our congregation. 
Um, that's at noon on Sunday. I'll put the link to register in the comments. We're asking that you register so that check-in goes a little more quickly. Um, the meetings, we're hoping the meeting will start at noon, but we're opening check-in at 11.30. So if you want to log on at 11.30, we'll get you checked in. You can turn off your camera, have some lunch, make, make some lunch maybe, um, and then come back at noon uh, for the meeting. Uh, you can definitely do that. So I'll put the link to register in the comments. I hope you'll join us for annual meeting. And there is a, a uh, special super secret uh, surprise musical interlude that'll be happening. So you don't want to miss it. Annual meeting might be your only chance to see it. Um, uh, the w next weekend, uh, Sunday, June 13th, is our flower communion service uh, where we're, or Maybe it's June twelfth. Whatever that, whatever that Sunday is, uh, that's our flower communion service. Um, we uh, will be blessing flowers in the morning, so I invite you to have a flower with you for that service. Um, and then we invite you to bring that flower to church in the afternoon. Um, we'll be there from 3 to 5 p.m. I'll put the link to sign up in the comments. We're asking you to sign up for a 15-minute slot. And there'll be a bunch of different things you can do. Um, so you can bring a flower and receive a flower, take a flower. Um, you can also um, take a few minutes. We're giving folks five minutes to sit in our sanctuary or stand in our sanctuary, whatever feels good to you, um, and visit. Just be in that space that we haven't been in for over a year now. Um, we're going to be allowing people in um, kind of two household units at a time. Uh, Jed will be in there playing some beautiful piano music. Um, and you can uh, just take in that space, have some time for reflection or contemplation or meditation, whatever feels good to you. Um, so you can visit our sanctuary. Uh, we will also have a, a table set up for you to make cards for Sandy, as I mentioned. So you can come make a card or you can bring a card if you're not the artsy sort and you just want to bring a card. Um, we would love to shower Sandy with cards of gratitude for her, her time with us. Um, you'll also be invited to make, um, to decorate stickers that'll go on bags for our little free farm stand over the summer to brighten up the, um, the bags that people will be using to pick up produce. Um, and you can also, um, learn more about our little free farm stand and how you can help with that. Um, and it'll be your last chance to see Ben in person. So Ben is uh, Ben's last day is June fifteenth, um, and he'll he'll be there. Um, he'll he's excited to see you and to say goodbye. Um, so all of that is happening three to five p.m. on Sunday, June thirteenth. Um, we would love to see you there. I'll put the link in the comments uh, on how to sign up, um, and I hope you'll join us. Uh, a couple things happening later in the month. We are going to have our um, our an outdoor in person service happening. It's an evening service. It'll be six p.m. on June twenty first. That's a Monday, um, and it'll be a service to celebrate the summer solstice led by some of our worship associates. Um, I'll be there to support them, but it'll be led by by worship associates. Um, it'll be really sh a short, about a half hour long in our in our parking lot. Um, you can stick around for a little bit afterwards for connection with folks, um, but it'll be our first chance to gather um, for worship outdoors in person. Uh, mark your calendars. There'll be more details coming out about that. Um, and finally, just one more plug for General Assembly. It's happening June 23rd through 27th. Uh, it's all online, so it's very accessible. You can still sign up for it. Um, and I'd love to have you join us for General Assembly. I will put the link in the comments about that. And Hosea is saying, that's too many announcements. So I'm going to wrap it up here. And um, I hope to see you uh, this weekend at Bridging and at our annual meeting. And next weekend for Flower Communion, um, it is, we're going to have a wonderful wrap-up to our church year.